What is child sexual exploitation and abuse? And how do development projects increase risks for children? Development projects reduce poverty, promote sustainable development, and empower community members. But sometimes they may also unintentionally increase risks to children. Child sexual exploitation and abuse is a worldwide issue impacting children's immediate and lifelong well-being. Data from 24 aid organizations in 2023 found that one in five survivors of sexual exploitation and abuse were children. What does this all mean? Well, a child is anyone below 18 years. Child sexual abuse is sexual activity between a child and a known adult in a position of trust or power. And child sexual exploitation is the exchange of sexual acts for goods, services or favors. Both can occur in person or online. Development projects are often in economically vulnerable communities where projects may introduce risks by bringing in workers with economic and social power, transport links or companies, or disrupting existing protective factors. This can lead to, for example, child marriage or child sexual exploitation. To address child sexual exploitation and abuse risks, Assess the project site for factors including close contact between the project and children in the community, high numbers of children working, weak systems to address child sexual exploitation and abuse, or limited understanding of what it is, a lack of respect for children's views. From the planning stage, and throughout the life of the project, consider the risks to children. Establish policies addressing children's needs. Consult with children or community actors who have regular contact with children. Addressing child sexual exploitation and abuse will make your project ethical and save you time and money.